So drive up and we'll have to hold a number four. They'll pass by and they'll be like, look, whenever we pass by, hold up a number four. That means code four, that means that you guys are good. If we pass by and you guys don't hold up a number four, we're gonna call back up and we're gonna go in. Because that means that you guys are being held at gunpoint and you guys are being robbed. So I remember they would drive up. What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G back at it and today I brought you guys right here back then this right here used to be a Baskin Robbins this was my first ever job first ever job that I ever had was right here I'm gonna switch the camera around and I'm gonna give you guys a little picture of what it looks like right here I believe I was 14 years old when I started working here and it all just happened, we were coming right here to this bakery. We were coming to buy a cake and the lady told us like, hey, are your sons interested in working? She asked my mom. She like, maybe my son right here. So I walked over here, talked to the owner and I started working that same day. Let's get into it. So back then, this right here used to be a basket robin. And we was going to that cake spot right there. We was going to that cake store and they asked like, hey, do you guys want to work? First ever job, let's go inside. It looks exactly the same as it used to too. Now that that's the bag, the freezers, some ice cream. I just sit here and just look out. And I remember it used to get robbed a lot, so the cops used to have to pass by. So, like I was telling you guys, I remember working right here, and the cops will pass by in the drive. They'll drive up and we'll have to hold a number four. They'll pass by and they'll be like, look, whenever we pass by, hold up a number four. That means code four, that means that you guys are good. If we pass by and you guys don't hold up a number four, we're gonna call back up and we're gonna go in. Because that means that you guys are being held at gunpoint and you guys are being robbed. So I remember they would drive up, they would pull up, drive up and then I would just hold the number four like we good we good keep going we good you know what I mean but my first ever job was right here back then so you can look at the um when I was 14 años my first job was right here Alright. when it was on uh, basket robin yeah Yep. See, he knows. Yeah, right. I said, see, I got basket robins, huh? Yeah, a lot of people yeah. come over and they say, oh, I'm, when I was chiquito, I come over with my mom, see. you know, it's a big now. Yeah, yeah. I see I'm fast. They, they used yeah. to make cake. I don't make cake too. The lady over there, no? The lady, they, they, She's the one that owns this, huh? Oh, no? No. Not no more? No. Yeah. Okay. So that's what yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what they got a and all that Okay. So this is a little different than before. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... That's yeah, right, man. Yeah, that's a new place for like uh, eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was 14, I'm 32 now, so... It's been a good little while, you know? Yeah. It's almost... This place, I think, is 30 years. 30 years, a lot? Back and then change the name. And then it changed... the same name. Oh, you still have the same name? Okay. Yeah, so it's very nice. Yeah, because that lady ended up buying them out right here yeah. and to be honest there was a, a big old thing at el um, dueño de antes the owner from before he wouldn't pay me dio like two three checks uh -huh. that were bounced every check he would give me used to bounce and that's why i stopped working here 
Honestly, por eso paré de trabajar aquí, because era una uh, Jamaican o algo, el hombre. Yeah. 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 They used to get robbed and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It was a lot of, lot of crazy stuff. I remember one time, too, I came to work. Y se había ido la luz. So all the ice cream was melting. I remember a lot of ice cream went bad. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing here. That's what happened. Now it's fixed a little bit. Okay. So we got a problem with that. With the electricity, huh? Yeah. We used to have that. Yeah, we used to have that a lot. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to give you a footage of the rest. Gracias. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. So I was right here talking to a man, and he's telling me that they've been here ever since it was the Jamaican dude that I used to work for then it was the Chinese lady with the cakes and they ended up taking over man it's a Latin owned business stop by man support anytime you guys are nearby for well, ice cream man homeboy's like hey let me look out for you you know what I mean I appreciate you stopping by Whenever you guys are here, man, do me a favor. Stop by, buy some ice cream, come support them, man. They right here in this little plaza. We're right here on La Brea and Spruce. La Brea and Spruce, across the street from the Pet Boys, across the street from the Woody's Barbecue. This plaza right here, man, come support them. Latin owned business, you know what I mean? Just stop by, sharing memories, you know what I mean? And making connections like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the beautiful thing about the world we live in, man. That's why I tell you guys, it don't matter what you guys have done. It don't matter what you've been through. Straight up, you could do anything you set your mind to. It's never too late. Let's get it. This place brings back so much memories, man. You guys see, they got the paletas. A lot of variety. Got the different flavors of ice cream. This thing brings back so much memories, for real. You guys stop by, man, and support them. Let them know I sent you, man. All right, y'all. So. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna see if she remembers me. What's going on? What's going on? I'm gonna see if she remembers me. Probably from first glance, she's not going to, but we'll see. Let's see if she's here. Close, closed. She's closed. It's right here. She's closed though. But this is the bakery right here, man. It was thanks to her that I got the job. We actually came here. This is where my mom would get all our cakes. So we came here. We were getting a cake. And she just asked my mom like, hey. She was actually asking for my older sister. I have a sister that's two years older than me. At the time I was 14. So that means she had to be like 16. But... My sister was already working, I believe, like at the movie theaters or somewhere, so she wasn't tripping on it. So I was just like, what? I want to work? And she was like, all right, come on, I'll take you over there. She took me over there, and oh boy, did like a quick on-the-spot interview, and he's like, hey, you start tomorrow, or that same day. I don't remember if I started that same day or the next day, man, but I ended up working, and then... As I was working here, I ended up meeting my homeboy Firme that was working at the Pet Boys across the street. I remember one day, he ended up coming. He's getting ice cream and he's all like, hey, you look familiar, bro. He's all like, where you from? You from Inglewood? And I'm like, nah, G, like, at the time, you know. And then he showed me a lighter. On his lighter, it had an HXP and it had its name. And I'm like, oh, you from the block? Like, that's right, you know what I mean? Ever since then, he would go on his break, come chill with me. After work, he would give me a ride home, so on and so forth. I just wanted to walk down this street right here because I used to stay blazing back here. 
this street right here every lunch break stuff like that I used to come blaze back here just be right there blazing and I used to go back to work you know what I mean but man it just brings back so much memories on break just right here blazing you know what I mean go back with the munchies working in the ice cream shop you know I just wanted to bring you guys here man give you guys a little bit of stories I know it's a little something different not like my usual video but you know what ain't nothing to it but to do it you never know maybe you guys like this one we out here live and direct let's get it